Hey everybody, Jody Marketplace Boutique. Well, so I went to this really awesome tractor show. So as you can see, I'm back in my office. Boy, am I happy about that. I finally have an office space again. Daughter moved out. Okay, I have to admit, I'm wearing her hat and I, and I do have to send it back to her, but maybe she won't see this and she'll never know. <laughs> I went to this really cool um, tractor show and I've never really thought about like tractors before other than I've always wanted to see a thrashing machine. Threshing? Thrashing? I think it's thrashing? <laughs> it's probably not thrashing, right? I don't know. But I've seen pictures, but I've never actually seen one. <laughs> So I got some really good deals. They had like a big flea market and it was pouring rain when we got there. The really good thing is if you go and tell your friends that you like to do like antiques and stuff, they'll alert you that there is a flea market. And if you're lucky, they'll go with you. <laughs> it's always fun to do those kind of things with other people. I got some really cool things. I just thought I'd show you what I found. Okay, there was this lady and I talked to her for a while. She was closing her flea market business. She's 85 and her husband was 89. And they were both doing really good. I was actually surprised that they do flea markets. And um, man, I don't know if I'd have enough energy to do it. I've actually always wanted to, but. Boy, it's a lot of work. So all of her stuff was half off and I have to clean most of it yet. Um, it does need to be cleaned. This is all vintage cookie cutters. Now, if you haven't sold cookie cutters, keep your eye out because they are awesome. Now, I don't know what this is, but as you can see, like this is a really big cookie cutter. And a lot of times if you have vintage ones that are old, you know, these are really nice, probably from the 50s. And you can tell the old ones, they're kind of made of like a tin. It's probably a little older. Um, you know, these birds, like this stuff sells really well. The bigger ones I've sold for around $100 or people will send me offers and I usually take them. But these smaller ones I might let up. I know these things sell really well. So I'm just opening up these. I haven't even really looked at everything yet. And this was $2. So this was a dollar. And I could, oh yes, I mean, I love vintage things, I just have to say. <laughs> um, I love vintage lace. Isn't that cool? Now, there are some really old pieces in here. Look at this. These things do sell well on eBay. Um, sometimes, like, you know, some of these, you can tell, did, you know, maybe this was a collar or like a sleeve or something. Um, these are very old. And a lot of times the lace is so beautiful that if a dress wears out, you know, they would just cut these off and, and make, you know, to save it for later or whatever. So, you know, some of the pieces are real small. It all needs to be washed. So I'm definitely getting dirty here. Ooh, this is pretty. I haven't looked through this. I just seen it was going to be a dollar and I'm like, ooh, antique lace. This is beautiful. <laughs> I got really excited. Maybe I'll keep a couple pieces. Sometimes I keep a couple things to myself and um, sometimes I won't always hold on to things forever. Beautiful that is. That lace. You know, and back then they didn't waste a lot of things. Um, here, I think this is like a garter, isn't it? A little garter. You know, there's just like a big ball of different laces, so, you know, oh, it's real dusty smelling. You know, that old stuff is going to be dirty. It's going to be really dirty. I'm telling you, like I've bought some really cool things before, like all the little garter snaps and the buckles and I've never found a prairie hat until recently and I thought that was a cool find and, but they're, they are Dirty. Just think about it. Those people usually did not bathe until Saturday night before church. So especially around here in this Dutch community. 
I don't know about your area, but that's how it used to be back then. So what you find is probably going to be really dirty. So I would soak it. You can soak it in some like OxyClean that seems to work for me. Um, I can throw a Tide Pod in there. Um, if it smells, you know, real bad and musty, you can always use like an Autobahn in there too. So some of this stuff is kind of mixed up because it, it was start, it was raining that day. So I was just trying to keep everything dry. So she had a couple cabinet cards and I think they were like a dollar. Yeah, they were a dollar. And so I bought some of these that I thought would be really nice for reselling. There was quite a few of them. I could have probably bought more. So I paid 50 cents. Okay, this one is a reprint of uh, in Grand Rapids. It's a little bit blurry. Okay, there we go. Don't mind my nails. I'm actually going to get them done in a couple minutes. I'm going to fly out of here. Uh, Kim, I can't wait to see you today. <laughs> so here is a reprint of a uh, photo uh, in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Oh, I might know some of those people. So I picked the ones that had like something on the back so I could identify people. I could have probably bought them all. So this is Katie Moomy. Moomy Mooney. That's cute. Mr. and Mrs. June Daily. Okay, so here is um, some postcards that I bought. And it was $2. And when I see $2 and there's like several, you know, there's like a whole stack of them. Heck yeah. <laughs> so I paid a dollar for for all of that. So, so these are the booklets. Actually, I just got back from Niagara Falls on the Canada side. I even snuck over back to the American side for a little bit. Okay, so this is like one of those accordion things. You know, Daytona Beach, actually, I went there about a year ago. Daytona is very rowdy for me. <laughs> a little bit too rowdy. I'm kind of a quiet person. Okay, so I'm definitely just going to sell these as a picture book, and I'm not going to worry about... I was thinking they were postcards, but that's okay. So that's cool. That'll be neat to look at. Um, Golden Gate Souvenir Folder. This is going out to Pensacola, Florida. So actually, people had sent these. These are neat. You know, I would like to find something like this more than I would like some stupid souvenir from a souvenir shop. Um, a lot of times when I go to different places, I like to just hit the antique shops because I'd rather have that kind of souvenir that's actually worth something. And this is a linen. You can tell by the texture. Arizona. So what I did because I bought so much stuff is I um, calculated it first and then I took half off. Um, I don't know, maybe a chomper. I don't know what this is. Is it like a Swiss, Swiss Army knife? Oh, these sell really well. So these were all 50 cents. Uh, the, uh, these are like advertising sell amazing, especially if they are beer. The beer ones sell really well. Can opener. They're just these things. These sell so well. You ever find these cheap? Pick them up. It's actually are old and I didn't, I've never seen old owl earrings. I think they're missing their the front piece though. I'll have to test these. That's cute. And then some clips. I basically took all of the jewelry that looked vintage. So I have to get going. Oh my gosh, I just realized my clock. Okay. Ooh, pretty nails. Thank you, Kim. Thank you so much. Look at I have sparkles. And I have my feet done there too, which is really nice. I should have stopped and got a haircut. My hair is like really, really stringy. Yuck. Okay, so let's see what else we got here. Ooh, I got this really cool. Um, it's like a it's like a school whistle. I don't know why I wanted this, but I really wanted this. I thought it was cool on a rope. Like, if you were hiking something, this could really come in handy. I kind of want to try it out. I do have reading glasses I could put on, though, so I can actually read something. Let's see here. Okay. Okay, Susan has now joined me, so you might kind of hear her moving around. Yes. Okay, so this is Avon. But they, like, I would totally wear these. These are really pretty. 
Now I have an iPhone, but you know, I probably should learn how to use it. <laughs> It'll probably show up better in these uh, videos. So this was 50 cents. This is another one of those advertising things. Oh, good. This is a Cooper's beer. So it says Cooper's beer, beer, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. That's going to sell like really well. This is a gold told like a creamy ivory color enameled necklace. If you're listing on eBay, don't put ivory. Sometimes other things will pop up and you'll get in big trouble. Um, so, you know, I would use cream. I don't think I'd ever use the word ivory. That in the listing, maybe if they have it under the search categories, you could use it if it's an eBay thing. But I wouldn't put your own word ivory in there. Oops, and this is kind of like a, just a metal, maybe kind of coppery color. I don't know if it really is copper. And here's just a little pin brooch. These always sell well on eBay. All brooches sell pretty good. So from Robert's ride along, I found this cute little um, jar. Let's see, let me look at it before I show it to you. <laughs> okay, well, so I found this little jar from Robert's ride along and um, I just kind of throw my things in there. Usually it's just my glasses and my pens. I love these and so now I have another one. Does anybody else use these? Three pieces for like five, something like that. So Robert's Ride Along always has like really cute little things like that. I love them. I like to throw my little doodities in them, like on my desk or um, by the TV, you know, on the coffee table. I have one too, and I put my glasses and my readers in there. Okay, so that's cute. Super excited about this. It came with like this little teapot. What kind of German thing is this? And so it looks like it's something like Luschenberg. Lush, Lush, Lumberg. That's what it is. <laughs> okay. And then this came with a creamer. Oh, there's two brooches in here. So 25 cents a brooch. And this has like an amber color acrylic piece on there. That's really pretty. Ooh, and this is like a gold tone. That's, I actually thought there was only one. I picked up all the ones that I seen because I know they just sell well. And then here's like. I don't know. So this was 50 cents. Um, now I know my dad used to have a bunch of these and it's like a leather thing. Sheath? Is it called a sheath? Sheet, sheath? Sheet for your knife? I don't know. Um, I think, I don't know if this is actually a knife or if this would be more of a, it almost looks like a drywall tool. It smells, it smells. So here's three rings for 50 cents. Boy, my camera does not want to focus, but I'm okay with it. I'll be okay with that. Ooh, this is pretty. Isn't that pretty? Actually, it looks like it had one more strand. So it used to be a three and now it's a two. She had like, all kinds of books. I had someone kind of standing next to me trying to kind of move me along. I think they wanted books too. So I just kind of did what I was doing and ignored that like eight for a dollar. So eight bucks for a dollar. Amazing. I should have actually bought all the paperback books because I think I bought all the good hard covers. Okay, so now I found this lady who had really awesome stuff doilies and I bought um, and that's what I'm washing in some OxyClean and Dawn and a little bit of Tide and then I bought some trivets and I think her stuff was like two for a dollar you can find some really good deals um, some people might be more expensive I've noticed you know some people are selling about what it what it's worth and then other people um, have the stuff really really cheap my goal is to always, when I buy things, to get like pictures and ephemera and stuff in bulk lots and stuff like paying per price. It's usually always a way better deal in bulk lots. Okay. <laughs> Look at this. This is so pretty. I have to hold on to this one too for a while. Now these, you know, weren't super cheap. Um, I think I paid like five or six dollars. Look at how pretty that is. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? 
I mean, it's so pretty. This was interesting to me. I thought this was cool. Um, only because it's got these really tiny little... Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Look at the little beads. I wasn't going to buy this until I seen those beads. And I thought, oh, that is really pretty. So I get that. Okay, so this was a... Oh, it's still... Oh. oh. <gasps> no. Oh, no. I didn't realize these were still full. And I literally have kerosene now all over me. All over my desk. All over the carpet I just steam cleaned. <laughs> Ooh, I did not know that. If you ever buy these, watch for this. I never even thought about it. I love blue stuff. And this is an oil lamp. It's it's really, really old. Um, a dollar. But yeah, it's... Oh, no. I, and, and I'm trying not to swear. <laughs> but I felt like, you know, when you can, like, smell something and you're like, no, really, something is stinking. I'm not sure. I think these were a dollar, and I... I don't know what these are other than maybe um, Christmas ornaments. Ooh, this is so pretty. Ooh, look at that. My favorite color. I had to buy this. That was cool. I don't know what this is. There's no way I would hang it from a tree. Bless this house. These are so cute. I don't even know what these are. <laughs> Um, she thought they looked like ornaments, too. Heart one. This is cool. So we thought this was just like a little coaster. It looks like it's got a little ship on it. It says, Society of Mayflower Descendants. Oh, that's, you know what? I am one of the descendants of the Mayflower. <laughs> How interesting. Okay, that's cool. Life is enchanted by the presence of angels. Cute little trivet. So this was also 50 cents. I'm gonna have to clean these anyway if I sell them. So I'm definitely gonna clean these out. This is another very old blue, cobalt blue oil lamp. So, and the wick goes right here. And then these sit on top like this. Now, I thought this was cute. I like the wood box. This is adorable. You know, a nice wood box like this, I would say is gonna be like 35 and up. Some of them are around 100, some of them are more. So typically I sell these for around like fifth, talking to me about how she had a whole tote of old photos like this and she had just kind of stuck them in here um, and she was going to sell them one by one. And I, and she, like I said, most of her stuff was 50 cents or a dollar. Um, I counted in here. There was about 20. And so I said, well, will you sell me like the box? And these were in the box. You know, the box and the all the whole stack for like 20. Is that okay? She did sell it to me, but then she started looking at it. And she did pull some stuff back out after she sold it to me. <laughs> So yeah, <laughs> she goes, I need to comp these and see how much this is worth. And I'm like, oh no. Yeah, I'm totally not getting that one. I love old photographs, Butler family. Einhardt Gallery in Detroit. This lady looks a little bit scary to me. Also, if you buy these and you like to sell antiques, pay attention to the jewelry. That'll kind of give you a good timeline of the jewelry pieces if you like to sell jewelry and you're looking and you just kind of want to learn. Um, a great way is to look at photos. If you look at old photos, you can kind of see the style and, um, you know, look at what they're wearing. Here is H. Henke, Howard City, Michigan. I somehow picked them up at the same time. The interesting thing is, I thought they looked alike. Um, I do a lot of genealogy and um, try to identify photographs. I thought that looked the same. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, 
So I assume one is like the wedding photo. A big rapids, Bear Lake. So that's like way up north in the UP area. This is um, Eisenhart Gallery, Detroit, Michigan. Okay, this doesn't want to focus very well, but this lovely couple is from Wisconsin. Here's a gentleman from Howard City. I still smell like kerosene. Code Nance Gallery, Manistee, Michigan. Oh, look at this little baby. This says Jacobson, Florence. Wisconsin. Very cute. I don't know how good these are actually coming in. Bertha Studio of Sanbury, Montana. Okay, so this says, um, how do you like my stash? It is the same as my unmarked picture. I think it says it looks like it was kind of cut off. Over He's very proud of that mustache. He's very proud. He wants his family to know that his mustache still looks the same and also is the same as the picture at home. <laughs> and he's saying that his mustache still looks like this. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I love that. Look at this little baby. Um, I find it interesting that chokers were in style back then. I have some combs. I think right now for sale, just like that. I guess I've kind of learned, um, you know, how old vintage jewelry is just by looking at old photographs, but I've kind of been into looking and identifying um, things way before I started selling old things. This is Thompson Hamilton, Michigan. I am assuming it's Michigan. So I like to try to find photos to go with their cemetery pages. That's how I started into all the old stuff. <laughs> actually was find a grave so oh st louis michigan oh this is a beautiful lady this is so sweet um now i have a chair similar to this one um, from my great grandparents um the burr ridge studio and um they had it from probably around the 20s so that would make sense um, you know, 1910, 1920. So this, I would assume, is about the same age. This is Burnett, Albion, New York. Now, isn't that where, like, the Amityville is? Isn't it in Albion, New York, or Albion County or something? Am I just making this up? I don't know. I like the writing, though. Look at this writing. Okay, wow. So this one is a really cool photo of tents. I have no idea why they have tents. Maybe it was a wedding. Maybe it was a circus. Maybe it was a war. I'm not sure, but it came out of a... This was in there. I haven't looked at this yet. It looks like... Looks like a postcard photo album. Churches, um, Montreal, Notre Dame, um, some on Niagara Falls too where I was just at. So that's cool. Maybe I'll keep that one. And then I am going to also just sell these papers. It's like a craft. Does anybody remember these? Did you grow up in the 60s or 70s? <laughs> I don't know exactly what these were for that my mom always had, but she had these and she was very serious about them. <laughs> Um, I was not allowed to touch them, although I still remember the taste of these stamps. <laughs> Even though I wasn't allowed to touch them, but somehow I can just, my tongue just quivers with disgustingness. So these are green stamps. S&W green stamps, America's most valuable stamps. Paste one single stamp in each of the 50 blocks on this page. Let's see, what is this about? I don't even know. Set your goal and get what you want. <laughs> okay, that's good. Big or small, your group can go all out with this fantastic fundraising idea. Okay. Okay, so did she... 
Whoa, look at all these green stamps. Whoa, Nelly, you should have turned in your book. I just knew I couldn't touch them and I know what they taste like. <laughs> I probably did something really bad. And these are something that do sell on eBay. Uh, top value stamps. Now, I've never seen these. Top value. Interesting. Look at this. Somebody was very serious. Oh my goodness. What? How to redeem your top value stamp books. Visit your neighborhood gift center for best service. If the nearest one is over 25 miles away, you may mail in your order to Dayton, Ohio. So is this, I assume, maybe there's like a catalog you can order from? Is that what this is about? And then you get and get free stuff? I think that's what this is. So instead of using like a... Boy, this lady should have turned it in. She could have got a lot of free parcels. I hope you enjoyed my little finds today. Hope you're waking up bright and early to go find some really good deals out there in the summertime. Things are so much fun to find in the summer. You never know what's out there to get. Bye, see you later. Oh, no. The bigger, the better. Okay, well... Did I just say that? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> and this all looks like, um, can, can any day. Can, 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 Canadian, Canadian, Canadian postcards. <laughs>